Hey, this is Gary from 3Bug Media, and today we're going to talk about the different match type options when using Google AdWords. Now, the type of match type that you use when creating your campaigns plays a critical role in who's going to see your ad and how relevant that is to the searcher. So we're going to go over the four different types today and give you some tips on how to use them effectively. So we have four types. We have broad match, modified broad match, phrase match, and exact match. Broad match is the most broad, and that gives Google the biggest license to show your ad to people who they think your ad might be relevant for. So you have to be careful with that because sometimes they overreach on how relevant they, uh, they think your ad is. So we're gonna use an example if you're a florist and say we're gonna use the keyword red roses. If you use broad match for red roses, you may get search terms. If somebody types in red roses, yellow roses, red flowers, red bushes, all of these could trigger your ad because Google is taking a license on the word red and the word roses because they may use flowers instead of roses. They may, may use yellow, red, pink, things like that. So you're giving them a broad license on who to show your ad to and it, most of them or many of them may not be relevant to who you're trying to target. So you have to be careful with broad match. The next one is modified broad match. And that is when you're creating your keyword, you put a little plus sign between the, in front of, right before the word. And what that tells the search, what that tells Google is my, if somebody types in a search query, it has to contain the words red and it has to contain the word roses. It has to contain both those words, but it doesn't necessarily have to be in order. You can also use you know, O plus in front of one word and not in, not in another. And say if you just did red plus red and not roses, you may get terms like red flowers or, you know, red plants, things like that. So you're giving Google a little bit more license to use the word roses on here. But as you can see here, it still may not be relevant to who you're trying to target because with this match type, you can get red tablecloth with roses. So if somebody's type searching for a tablecloth with red tablecloth with roses on it, it could technically trigger your ad. The next one is phrase match. And this one you put inside quotes. So red roses in quotes means that both of these words need to be in the search term somebody uses to trigger your ad. And it also has to be in this order. So red and roses need to be in that order. And here it might be where to buy red roses. So you can see here it's included in the term, but it has license on the words before and after it, that when it determines how it's gonna trigger your ad. So the next one is exact match, and that's the most rigid out of all the match types. So rid, uh, so if you can do red roses, you put that in brackets. And what that means is only show my ad if somebody types in red roses, no other order, no other words in the search term, only these two words, red roses. So that's the strictest type. Uh, they do take some license with it, and that's been a recent change with them, is they will do some close variants, and that might be, say, uh, singular rose. So maybe red rose could trigger your ad, or if somebody did a misspelling and they know that's what they meant, they may still show your ad for an exact match type, okay? So these are the four. When you would use these is, as you can see, broad match is probably one you tend not to want to use because it gives them too much light. It gives Google too much license to show you red and a lot of them won't be relevant. And the only time you're really going to want to use broad match is if you're trying to do research, if you're trying to see what search term or what language people are using to search for your product or service, or if you're in a very small market or you're targeting a very small area and there's just not a lot enough volume search volume to do something like an exact match on there. So that's when you use broad match. I like broadified, modified broad match if you're a small business or if you're targeting a very specific area. Uh, it gives you some control over broad match, but it also is liberal enough where you can do a little bit of research because most of the time when you're, when you're creating a keyword, there's actually a lot of other terms that people use that probably you didn't even know existed or you just weren't thinking about when you added those keywords. And this gives you a little more license to look through those and see some of those other terms and maybe add those to your campaign as well. Uh, same thing with, with phrase match, it's a little more rigid than broad match, but it does give you some controls over here. Like I said, uh, exact match, if you're a small business or targeting a specific area, you may find that there's not enough search volume to 
get enough traffic to get you know get that get your ad in front of enough people when you're using exact match so you may have to switch to something like a modified broad match or a phrase match to get enough traffic and then what you might do is if you find a term that's really relevant to your business and you know if somebody uses that search term it's you know highly likely that you may be able to convert them then what you might do is break that off and make that an exact match type and possibly even break that off and make it its own ad group and have its own ad for just that search term or, or maybe one or two different exact match terms and, and have a specific ad, ad group campaign ad group for that as well okay so a tip is if you're using broad match modified broad match even phrase match you can use those you just have to be very diligent i'm going to show you two things that you need to do is number one you need to use your search term reports often and that might be weekly if you have a lot of clicks so, you know if you're getting hundreds of clicks every week you may want to check that weekly or maybe if not maybe you have a smaller budget you want to check that at least monthly and what the search port so what the search term report is going to do it's going to give you the list of the actual words the actual search terms people typed into google that triggered your ad and that's where you can start to find ones that aren't relevant to your business and you can start pruning them out so the way you prune them out is you use your negative keyword there's a section in adwords that lets you add negative keywords so in this instance if you're trying to target red roses people looking for uh, rose bushes rose plants yellow roses white flowers purple roses pink whatever you can start adding those words into your negative search terms. So if, say if you add bushes as a negative search term if somebody types in red rose bushes even if you're using broad match, it will not trigger because you put bushes as a negative search term and Google knows not to show your ad if that word is in the search query. So as you go through the search term report, you'll start to see some of these non-relevant terms and you can start adding them onto your negative keyword list. Something that I like to do too, since you're paying for every click and depending on the niche you're in, it can be quite expensive, is you want to take out non-buyer you know, buyer, buyer centric uh, search terms. So people are searching for how, like how do I grow rose bushes or how do I do this? I usually like to take those out, put in how, why, you know, why are roses red, things like that. Put those negative search terms in, those negative keywords in, and that will trigger those how type or what, you know, or why type of search queries that probably aren't gonna translate into a sale for your business. So very important if you're using anything other than exact matches that you use your search term reports often and you use your negative keyword list often. And what you'll find over time is maybe in the beginning your, your ad campaign may not be super efficient, but as the weeks and months go by, as you keep adding to your negative terms, you start you know, you start playing with your match types, what you're gonna find is that your campaigns are gonna get more efficient and more efficient over time to where eventually, even if you're using modified broad match or even maybe broad match if you're in a very small market, if you're diligent with this, you're gonna find that your search term reports are actually pretty spot on as, as time goes on, okay? So I hope this little overview gave you a little explanation of how to use the different types of match, uh, match types in AdWords. If you have questions about it or you wanna learn more about Google AdWords and online marketing, you, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Thank you very much and have a good day.